Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and this is going to be a really different video because I'm not going to show you a project today. But I did get some great inspiration yesterday when I actually took a field trip. I went outside, did something really fun, something I really need to do more often. And I got great inspiration for projects that I hope to be doing really soon. I got to meet some amazing animals yesterday, some amazing people. My daughter, Jessie Rashi, came with me. Um, it, it was just so much fun. So let me show you what we did. We spent most of the day up at the Blue Dasher Farm up uh, just north of Estelin in South Dakota. I went up there to buy some of their raw honey and Jesse went up there to paint. Now, I probably should mention that we did get permission to go. Uh, Blue Dasher Farm is not just a working farm. It's actually a laboratory where they're doing some really important work learning about regenerative agriculture. It's something that I really believe in and something that they're obviously very committed to. If you do happen to be in the area and you would like to see it, make sure that you do write to them first and get permission. Christina, the communications director, she's also the co-manager of the farm. Uh, she very graciously showed us all around. You can see here, uh, Christina's uh, introducing us to the two rams and some kuni kuni pigs that live there. This beautiful ram decided to take a nap right next to the tree, and that's where Jessie decided to set up her easel and start painting. She's actually practicing for a juried plein air event that she's going to be participating in starting in June 18th this year. It's in Traverse City, Michigan. While she was painting, I took this picture of her and, and she put it up at the top of her website, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I'll put a link to her website down below too so that you can see what she's up to. Now remember, I actually went there to get my honey <laughs> because this is really good honey. It's raw. It just tastes different from the honey that you get in the grocery store and I wanted to find out why. So I asked Christina if she would kind of stand there and tell us on, on video and she was just such a good sport. She went ahead and did it. I really don't have the right kind of mic or sound equipment for taking videos outside. It was a little bit loud but we found a nice quiet spot and she was just a really good sport about it. She stood there and explained why their honey tastes so much different from the kind you get in the store. So here's what she had to say. This is Christina. She's the in in charge of something right what are you in charge of Christina? <laughs> so I actually do communications and um, I co-manage a farm with uh, John Lundgren here or Dr. Lundgren at, at e Dasher Farm. So great it's absolutely beautiful out here. Can you tell us why your honey tastes so much better than anything else I've ever had before? It, well first thank you. <laughs> I think it does it's very delicious honey. I think there's a couple of reasons a part of it is it's raw honey. It's basically heated just to go through the filters to get the major you know parts and and anything out of it and then keep it otherwise raw so we don't like pasteurize the honey and so um, that's one big part of it it keeps a lot of those really good things in it um, for you and then another part is because we have this really beautiful diverse native prairie that um, the bees forage on and um, we don't feed our bees sugar or we don't feed them anything besides their own honey back and all this beautiful diverse habitat of this <laughs> farm and these <laughs> like our chickens <laughs> that add to it as well. Um, it's okay if people order from you? Yeah, yep, there's, um, we have our website, it's bluedasher.farm. Fantastic, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, thanks for coming out. Now I went back and checked up on Jesse. <laughs> The ram was still being a really good model. He stayed by his tree for a long time so that she could paint him. He even stayed there when Mr. Piggy decided to use him for a mattress. I left her to her painting and I wandered around some more taking photos of the lambs and the goat and the beautiful countryside. Just as Jesse started packing up to leave, I went and visited these beautiful ladies. Check these out. This alpaca is not shy and she was talking to me. It has this softest, most beautiful little sound that she was making. I'm pretty sure that she thought I was holding something, you know, good to eat in my hand. All she found was my silly camera, but she was very gracious about it. As you can tell, I'm kind of in love with that alpaca. I, I didn't realize before how gentle and curious and what a beautiful face. Now, I do have an awful lot of work that I have to do around the house, but fingers crossed that alpaca is going to show up again <laughs> as one of my sculptures. So if you're not subscribed already and you would like to see 
that sculpture when and if I, I am able to get it done, be sure that you do subscribe and, and hit that little bell thingy so that, so that YouTube will actually let you know when it comes out. Now I am going to put links down below so that you can see Jesse's website. That's at jessierashi.com and the farm's website as is at bluedasher.farm. Uh, they have an amazing mission. If you don't know anything about uh, regenerative agriculture yet, please do check that out because it's really important. It's kind of the way of the future, hopefully. <laughs> So go look at both of those websites. And when you're done with that, be sure to come back and visit me at ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.